Should a person who engages in peaceful non-compliance lose the right to carry a gun in his pocket? Hey everyone, this is Derek J.me here with a quick update about taking the keen police to court. A few weeks ago, I submitted an application for a concealed carry license, and I was denied by the chief of police, Ken Miola. He wrote in his denial letter that I, quote, have had several contacts with the police for assaultive or threatening behavior. If you've watched my free movie at victimlesscrimespree.com, you know that I've been arrested in Keene many times for acts of peaceful non-compliance, but I've never been violent. Now, to protect my right to carry a gun in my pocket, I have to take the chief of police to court. I've hired the best attorney in the business, Evan Knappen, at my own expense, $2,500. I've already retained the attorney, but I'm asking for your help in covering the cost. If you'd like to share the responsibility for the next victory against the Keene police, donate today. In the last 12 days since the campaign began, you have raised over half of the goal in Bitcoin and FRNs at GoFundMe.com slash gun rights. GoFundMe removed all references to Bitcoin on the fundraiser page, so I am not going to mention in this video that you can donate in Bitcoin. I am amazed at your generosity. I was prepared to fight this on my own and win, but having your support shows me that I'm not alone. Thanks to those of you who donate and share this page. My attorney has filed the appeal paperwork, so it's guaranteed that there will be a hearing in the next two weeks. I'll give another update as soon as I know the date. Peace.